reach over with your left arm stretching through the tips of your fingers, opening up the rib cage and abdominals, making room for baby, and take a nice breath. That's good. Release now. Back to all fours. We're going to do eight opposition arms and legs. Here we go. Now Michelle's going to stay with both hands down. Two more. Last time. Let's do those jabs to the left this time. Excellent. Strong mamas, strong arms. And breathe. I'm gonna make this a bunny hop. Not very technical term, but easy to remember. Curl it back. Again, hop, hop, hop. A little bit higher impact. So you choose if you wanna stay with Michelle. Great find to the right. With a tap, here we go. Mambo and feet together. So this is your very low impact option. Michelle's gonna stick with this. Here come Marcy and I with a little bit of a movement and travel. We're gonna mambo, chasse, and again. Marcy and I are gonna support ourselves on the chair. You're gonna bring your weight back towards your hip. Hold it here, try to think about the shoulder. Here we go. It's up and squeeze and release down up to the hip, keep it far away from the belly. So this keeps the circulation going in our feet, which is really important for us when, our, when we're pregnant. But if this is uncomfortable, just stick with the squats. Two, one, and back to reverse curls for singles two times. Now hammer two times, good. Two, and one, come down and hold again. All right, excellent. Walk those feet in and come over to your chair. We're gonna sit down for my favorite stretch. Stretching out our glute, we're gonna bring our right ankle over our left knee and just hinge forward, keeping that right hip down on the chair. Depending upon how big your belly is, there's only so far you can go. And exhale out. Don't forget, children are a gift from the Lord. Remember that at 3 a.m. Hope to see you soon.